October 1st, 2015, work session decorum. Councillor Sousa. I don't think decorum was the correct description of this, and I'll proceed. When I took office, we had the Tansy issue going on. Mr. Chadwell, I asked Sally Oglesby to announce that we were going to meet at the Brown School. Mr. Chadwell came to me and he says, uh, we're not announcing, that's going to be private. I says, no, it's an open meeting. He says, Susan, you don't know the law, and it's going to be a closed meeting. That was in the morning. In the afternoon, the state called him, and he had a re-education class. That was announced, and that was done, because it was the right thing to do. Several times during my tenure here, motions have been made and passed without proper notification of the people. And I've stood up and I've objected to that, and those motions have been overturned. Mayor Graham sat in here one day and decided that he was going to remove me from the bench. And any idiot knows that you can't move the setting of legislation the legislative person from the bench. And I told him no. What's, what's this all about? It's about the right way to do things and the wrong way to do things. Mr. Young, you said in your newspaper the topic had been discussed at length for an hour and a half the previous week. That's not exactly correct. We discussed the airport, but we didn't discuss those specific issues. And what I intend to do is go right down the list of those specific issues in that, that plan, each one of them being different, because there's no way you can sit down and discuss that business plan. It's just too large and too comprehensive to go over at one time. There's 140 pages, and there's about 30 different things that I'm asking the council to, to attend to. So those items in there, that I discussed that, that night were different from what was discussed before. And the items that discussed tonight are the same that was on the workshop. I'm going to read something here. <coughs> this is from the summary of this business plan. This is the last paragraph. I knew full, full well that the millions of dollars flowing through the airport would cause me to be attacked politically. For those who wish to do so, remember what happens when the public is made aware of the truth. The dissemination study was widely distributed on the desire that misinformation will be met by self-evident facts. The purpose of discussing things in public and so that the facts get out and the truth gets out. On 1 October, at the workshop, Mrs. Harris was a chair, and in your capacity as Mayor Pro Tem, you execute your duties as a chair in a biased attempt and violation of standing rules established. Accordingly, you not only attempted to direct what agenda items would be placed on the council meeting, but you attempted to cut me off. From speaking on agenda items at the workshop. Earlier you sent an email to the city manager complaining that everything that we talked at, at the council meeting needs to be discussed at the workshop. There's a little bit of inconsistency on that. For anyone who questions the validity of the accuracy of these comments, there's a recording of the workshop that bears witness to what I just said. The workshop traditionally is chaired by the mayor. The charter gives no extenuating authority to the chair of the workshop. In a council form of government, the charter grants, our charter grants, little authority 
to the chair and only at the council meeting. We have standing rules that we follow. And one of the things, just prior to the election, the previous administration passed the rule that all agenda items had to be approved by the mayor. They also eliminated all of the, the, the uh, provisions for the public to address the council unless it was placed on the agenda items so many days in advance. That was voted in three to two. I made the statement that day that, that after the election, we would readdress that, and we did. We opened it back up to the public, and every council person has a right to place an agenda item on, and it cannot be taken off. And every council person, that applies to both the workshop and the council meeting. That right is expressly granted to each council member. It is not the prerogative of the chair to pursue his or her political agenda through officiating at the chair. And that's what you did. You didn't like my agenda, so you tried to cut me off, and you tried to limit what was gonna be placed on the agenda item of the council meeting, and that's unsatisfactory. It's my express hope that you review what the standing rules are and in the future comply with the way things are supposed to be done. You announced in your, when you ran for this office about transparency. That was your big thing. You're gonna make the city of Crossville more transparent. And here you try to cut off the dialogue that was wrong. That's all I have to say. Yes, you know. You know, folks, my daddy taught me that if you've got a point to make, if it's worth making it, you can make it in a minute or less. So I'm going, I've got a statement here to make. Folks, as Mayor Pro Tem, my task in the October 1st meeting was to chair the council work session. As chair, it was my responsibility to run an orderly and effective meeting in accordance with parliamentary rules for informal meetings, which is what I did. The meeting was recorded and is available on the city's website for anyone to listen to. Frankly, I'm tired of this council being distracted unnecessarily. It's an embarrassment for our city and deters our economic development opportunities. And I hope this council will join me in moving on toward doing more positive things for our city. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions or comments? I'm Michael Mike Mortimer. I've been here five years. And Sally might help me if I miss some. I have never seen anyone turn down to come up to the podium to speak. Are you aware of me? I can't recall. Unless okay, the mayor just didn't notice them or something. Right. I, I mean, I, I've never seen that happen, and I, and I, but I remember. Well, from 2010 to 2012, there had never reported the opportunity to come address the podium, and that will be reported in the minutes. It was in our charter they were supposed to, and it was never followed during that time. But if anybody asked to, I've never saw them turn down to speak. That's just my opinion. I mean, I've never seen that. I remember asking to speak prior to the election, and uh, I was uh, allowed to speak. It was after the vote had already been made, and my comments were basically useless. So that it can be brought back up if the point made. I mean, that obviously it wasn't. Uh, next item on the agenda.